Pakistan's Prime Minister said today he will face the Supreme Court on Thursday to defend a decision not to pursue corruption charges against President Asif Ali Zardari. Prime Minister Yusuf Raza Gelani made the announcement to Parliament after the High Court issued a contempt charge against him. The political rift comes as a judicial panel is also looking into allegations that an official in Zardari's administration requested help from the U.S. to fend off a possible coup attempt by Pakistan's powerful military. Meanwhile, in parts of Pakistan's tribal areas, music is starting to return. Although once an integral part of weddings and other celebrations, the Taliban banned music in areas under their control. Following military operations that drove the Taliban out of Bajor Agency, some people are once again organizing and participating in music programs. FSRN's Rose Katab, she reads, for our reporter in Pakistan, Gabe Matthews. Young tribal people warmly greet people who arrive at a local elder's large guest house, locally known as Hujra. In the tribal areas, a Hujra is a gathering place for men only. It consists of multiple rooms, a yard, veranda, and in most cases a mosque, which is surrounded by walls. For weddings, men are invited to share food during the day. At night, the music begins. Wearing a big tribal turban and traditional white dress, 55-year-old Abdul Ghani welcomes guests in his hujra. Abdul Ghani is a local elder, or Malik. I am very happy to arrange and organize a music program for the marriage of my brother. Music is a part of our culture, and we can't leave our culture. I also encourage other tribal people to organize such music programs for happy occasions. Music is part of our culture, and we will follow our culture even if we die or live. The music starts, and young boys begin to clap and dance. After four years without music, they are enthusiastic and energetic. Most of them dance while a few sitting on the ground watch in appreciation and break out in applause. It is difficult for these young boys to control their joy. Some young boys start firing guns, a tradition during celebrations. Noor Mohammed Khan runs an NGO for tribal youth. He says music and social interaction is important for tribal people, especially after having lived through repression and violent military operations. The Taliban has broken all musical instruments in every guest house they have been to. The Taliban have strictly forbidden people from music because they say music is against Islamic law. Due to Taliban strictness toward music, the culture and its values have been completely changed in tribal areas. The Taliban also banned girls' education and blew up schools. They stopped parents from vaccinating their children against polio and closed all barber shops. But following a military operation in the tribal areas earlier this year, the Taliban went into hiding, both across the border in Afghanistan and within the tribal population. People are still fearful, something many say will take a long time to overcome. But poets and singers try to encourage people to overcome fear. At the wedding, one of the musicians sings. Everyone has rights on his own motherland. I reject other people taking control of this land. My motherland wants me to free it from foreign rule. Fifty-year-old Malik Gulzada is sitting far away from the music. He regularly checks people who come and go from the gathering, trying to ensure security.
A gathering of people for music programs develops brotherhood and cordial relations among people. It also develops courage. The peace which we have lost in our areas can easily be restored with organizing music programs. We all must follow our old primitive ways of culture which can provide happiness and peace in the area. Thirty-two-year-old journalist Shanawaz sings a song for the unity among Pashtun of Pakistan and Afghanistan. Like many journalists, Shanawaz received threats for some of his reports. He's also been targeted by armed militants for his singing. But he says this is a hobby and reporting his aim in life and source of happiness. I sing those song which is for the unity of our community and I want to educate my Pakhtun people. I want to tell them how they can be able to stand side by side with the other developed world. But militants do not want this. Although music has come back to the area, tribal culture still bans women from participating in these celebrations, even the bride. But as Shanawaz starts singing a final song for the wedding program, a group of young girls approaches. They peep through the holes in the main gate of the guest house to try to get a glimpse of who is singing the beautiful song about young people celebrating happiness. <laughs> For FSRN, Rose Kitabji reading for Gabe Matthews from Bahar Agency, Pakistan.